In today's video, I have five, well, there actually might be more than five thinking about it, tools and resources that you can start using today to help you make better YouTube videos. Everything from writing and planning your videos all the way to editing and creating amazing thumbnails. Oh, and did I mention that they're all 100% free? And some of them completely blew me away because they sounded too good to be true. So, that's it and done. Let's dive in. Welcome back to the channel guys, hope you're doing fine and dandy. Today's video, we have some good stuff for you. And I am genuinely really excited about every single thing on this list because I really believe that every single one is gonna help you guys make better videos. And there are some things on this list that I genuinely wanted to have when I was starting YouTube. So uh, you guys have got it easy. A lot easier than I had at least. And I know in the title it says five free things. Um, there's more like nine, I think, if you counted them all up. But um, I won't tell anybody if you don't. But anyway, I think I've rambled on for long enough. Let's start off with number one on the list, Notion. Think of Notion like a massive workspace that you can turn into pretty much whatever you want. You can make your own calendar, your own habit tracker, you can do things for school, you can do all kinds of things with Notion. But I specifically use it as a project management system for all of my YouTube videos. I have a workspace that acts like a database for all of the content that I want to make. So if I come up with a brand new video idea, I can create a new entry, give it a name, give it a status, give it tags. I can even add sponsor information if there's a sponsor for that particular video. It is a really versatile tool, so much so you can create your own templates for all of the different things that you might need to do. For example, I can create a brand and new entry into my database, select the YouTube template that I have, and it will populate all of the things that I need to make that particular video. Things like title ideas, a place for the thumbnail, description, all of the pinned comments that I might need, as well as checklists for editing and publishing the video so I can keep track of things in the video making process. And there's even a space for a script and research notes so you can keep everything you need in one single place. I use this all the time to write and schedule and plan out the videos that I want to make. In fact, if you guys want a more detailed video where I show off my workflow inside a Notion, let me know in the comments down below. It's an incredible tool and I highly recommend it if you guys are looking for something to keep yourselves organized when you are making your videos. And there is a free version available if you're a solo creator and you wanna get started, I highly recommend checking out that. However, if you're on a team or you want more power user features and I highly recommend checking out the paid plans that Notion has, they're actually pretty affordable. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, everything I mentioned this video will be linked down below so if you want to check them out for yourself then the links are there but let's move on to our next really useful resource similar to notion but definitely for the more visually creative people out there miller note is one of my favorite tools for brainstorming ideas i'm actually using it right now to plan out a documentary idea that i want to make in the future you have this large open space on miller note that you can populate with different things like cards and columns boards and lists and all sorts of information you can build this really intricate creative space to your liking without very many restrictions for example this documentary that i want to make has a board for looks and styles of cinematography and different films that I like that I want to try and recreate for my own film. You can even create new pages and use templates that Miller Note have actually provided for you to populate the page so you have something to start with. There's things like character development boards, storyboards, and even game and level design. There's even stuff on there for making your own D&D campaign. That's pretty cool. It's like this massive mood board or pin board for ideas and inspiration and planning for whatever you want to make. Now, there is a limitation of 100 cards on the free plan, but you are able to delete cards and get that space back. But if you want more space, more room to breathe, then I highly recommend checking out the pay plans on the notes website. For me, personally, I prefer Notion for most of the heavy lifting for things like scheduling, writing videos, and having a database to track the progress on all of my projects. But for more creative projects like short films and documentaries where you need a storyboard and a much more visual bird's eye view of the project, the Miller Note is the way to go. But let's move on to our next resource, and that is DaVinci Resolve. For the more regular viewers of my channel, you'll know how much I talk about DaVinci Resolve 
and it's, it's just too good to not mention in this video. But for those that don't know, DaVinci Resolve is a video editor from Black Magic Design and they have a free version available on their website to download and start using in your projects. And it's not just a video editor either. There's actually a lot more under the hood than one might think. It has a full on compositor for visual effects and motion graphics. It has an audio engine with audio mixing tools and it also has the best color grading suite on the planet. So if you're looking to get into content creation but you don't want to sell your soul to Adobe, then this is definitely a solid solution. Now, there are some limitations in the free version of Resolve. For example, you can't go above Ultra HD and you are restricted to some of the GPU accelerated effects. However, I personally think that most YouTubers are probably not going to bother with anything higher than 4K for their videos. But if you are hitting that ceiling and you want more from Resolve, you can easily upgrade to the studio version of Resolve for a single time fee of $299. But saying that, there's definitely plenty in the free version of Resolve to get you started. Now, before we jump into the next one, if you guys are enjoying this video, then please consider giving it a like. It could potentially help more people see this video and just, you know, make YouTube a better place. Thanks. But the next one literally blew my mind that this was free. I had to double check and make sure that this was a free one because I think this will be a very powerful tool for YouTubers. Unsplash is a stock image library that is full of 100% free to use images. Yep, you heard me, no subscription, no pricing, just free images. I know it sounds too good to be true, but it's true. All you need to do is search for any image that you want. You can then download it and use it in your own videos, for your own commercial and non-commercial projects, anything you want. And they actually break this down in their license agreement on their website. You can go through and check for yourself and you'll see that they are literally giving away these images for every creator on the internet. Like seriously, this is a gold mine for creators because you can use a service like this for thumbnail images. For example, maybe you want to create a video on taking better sunset photography. Just search for the image that you want, find one you like, and then download it. Or maybe you're doing a video on finding the best vlogging camera for YouTubers. Well, you can do that too. I genuinely can't believe that that resource is free, but it gets even better. Canva is a design platform that allows you to create any design piece that you want for absolutely free. Things like presentations, posts for Twitter and Instagram, and even YouTube end screens. The site is free to use. However, you will find out very quickly that a lot of things are behind premium paywalls. However, the editor is 100% free to use, and it's actually pretty intuitive. And this is where things like Unsplash and Canva come together and make a really powerful combo for YouTubers. Say for example, you are making that video on finding the best vlogging lens. You found the image you want to use, you bring it into Canva and you can add different elements to build out that thumbnail to make it more clickable. Just import your image and search through the countless elements they have on their website, bring in logos and arrows, maybe add some text if you want to. And then once you're done, you just download it and you've just done your thumbnail. Seriously, for basic thumbnails, this works really well and the results are pretty impressive. Now, as I said earlier, the editor itself is 100% free. However, some functionality is locked behind a pro subscription. At that point, if you are looking to advance your skills in making better thumbnails, I'd highly recommend moving over to something like Affinity Photo or Affinity Designer. For the main reason being that the Canva pro subscription is monthly and the single time purchase for Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer make more sense to me in the long run. I can absolutely recommend and justify the free tools, but I can't justify Canva Canva Pro when I know there's a better single time purchase option that exists for people out there. So if you are just getting started, Canva is absolutely a fantastic solution. But if you want more advanced tools, I'd highly recommend Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer. Now, this next resource is exactly like Unsplash, but for video. Pexels is a royalty free stock video website where you guessed it, everything is free to use. Just search for what you're after, find the video that you like the look of, and go ahead and check to see if it's free to use. Not only that, but a good majority of the footage on this website is shot in 4K, so it's really high quality stuff. You can even search by orientation, so maybe you wanna find some nice vertical footage you want to use in your TikToks or YouTube Shorts, 
you can do that here too. And not to mention, there's also a photo side to this website as well. So it works exactly the same way as Unsplash, where you can find free to use images for your YouTube thumbnails. Those three websites are probably my most favorite ones on this list because I genuinely think those three are going to help a lot of you guys out. And now we move on to what I would consider the most underrated tool in this list. Thumbs Up TV is a tool that lets you compare your YouTube thumbnail and your title together in a UI that's similar to the one you find on YouTube. This is a really useful way to see how well your title and thumbnail work together within the space of YouTube's UI and see how clickable it is for other people. And if you need to change anything about your title or thumbnail, doing it right here is the best place to do it because you can see how things look before you even upload your video. It has become one of my most favorite tools for the final stages of my video publishing process just to see how things look and to make sure everything looks just right before you upload the video and speaking of titles and thumbnails the next tool works very well with thumbs up tv and it's to do with your video titles headline analyzer is a tool that lets you compare variations on titles for articles and videos to see how well they perform i use this tool very occasionally sometimes it's a bit hit or miss but i really use it just to fine tune a title and try out variations to see which one might work better than the other i usually find with titles it's always better to market them for people rather than algorithms because the people are the ones that will be clicking on the video to watch it. I don't use it often, but when I do, I find it pretty useful. And those were my top five, nine, ten, I don't know, I lost count, but those are my free resources for YouTubers. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, which one was your favorite, and if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like, spread the word, let more people see this, it might help somebody else out there. And until next time, take care.